Hi everyone, welcome back. Um, yeah, so I've got some toys. I'm going to show you some toys I've got. So I've been to pick up my parcels. Now, if you're new to the channel, um, what I do with the ad revenue from this uh, from this YouTube, it all goes to charity. So, as in, goes to buying equipment for my search and rescue, um, the group I'm with. So I'm building up all the equipment for our emergency rescue from ropes to radios to everything <coughs> and that's the only reason i do the ads i hate the ads guys um i don't like i'm always skipping through everyone's but obviously you know there's a bit of little revenue there which comes in and it helps buy these things now I've, all this is not paid for you know it's all come out of my own money um, none of this is sponsored but i thought i'd show you because this is where your money goes so every time you watch an ad if you want, just sit it on and just keep playing it all night long. <laughs> uh, it'd be out. So yeah, I've got gone and treat myself. So I can't afford it, <laughs> and it's on credit. But uh, we'll get it paid off in a couple of months. Well, three months. It's interest free. So hopefully this ad revenue will pay it all off. But the whole lot was two hundred and ten quid. So I've gone and bought a chainsaw um, from a recommendation from a friend of mine who's had, I'll show you the chainsaw in a second, but yeah, it was a Parker brand, which is sort of general, you know, basic really, but it's a good starter. And this was a big one, it's a 62cc, two stroke, with a 20 inch blade, and it came with a whole load of extras. So that was 120 on eBay, and literally where I'm parked now, on the industrial estate, where I work around the corner, I can see the company where it comes from. So again, parts, there's even a note in it, any parts you need, you just, they just sell them all. They sell every little part for that. So that's the reason, because steel and things like that are very expensive, and I'm not gonna use it that much. So the idea is, uh, I'm gonna get training as well. So I've got all the safety gear. I've bought all that as well, that was 90 quid. Um, I haven't got any boots yet, they're the expensive bit. So I'm, gonna, I'm looking out for some size 11 boots, guys, <laughs> if anyone's got any. So I do quite like the wellies, because the wellies are coming handy, actually do the bright orange wellies but anyway I'll show you what I've got so the, um, the on eBay the cheapest full sort of kit was um, it's like a rock wood it's called I tell you what it feels fantastic quality so we got the just put it all together so we got the full helmet ear muffs and the mesh and everything again it's all approved the size of the mesh and everything I did check everything so you know it's all um, you know proper stuff it's just obviously cheaper stuff got the gloves um, they're nice and thick all comes with a bag to carry it all in then I've got like the trousers got there I, I thought there was gonna be thin sort of things but then I think we can go and get a bigger dog now and go and you know when they come chasing after you and bite you because they're so bloody thick I'd be like a Michelin man walking in them I haven't tried them on yet I got the biggest size they should do they're elasticated for my fat ass so um, hopefully, they, I just got the trousers um, because we have our jackets, high vis jackets and stuff. Um, so yeah, so that's all that kit. Um, just move that. I'll show you the chainsaw. Now I haven't put it together yet. Oh, so there's the beauty. <laughs> So nothing's set up yet, so I'm, you know, everything's done, I've got. But this comes as a kit, they start from £104, I thought. I mean, I was looking at the electric, and I'm thinking I was going to get electric. 120, 170 at Argos, because I had a 50 quid voucher, and I thought, you know, it's a bit a bit pricey. And then, obviously, I got told about this and, and recommended by quite a few people, and they said, look, you can just rebuild these they're cheap as chips they're, d they're pretty good at lasting well. now what we do when st when storms hit we get called out from the police to um, chop down trees you know to move them when they've crashed on the floor so if Millie can't you know move it or anything at least I've got something to cut the branches off and trim it up and we can get it pulled off the road so that's the main reason we've got this um, the other small reason we didn't, you know, I've not been too bad with it. Is if I'm down a country road and get stuck because of the branches and I'm wedged or whatever, 
then obviously I can just trim a branch off um, and stuff like that. But yeah, majority, that's what it's for. I'm obviously chopping up a bit of wood for the fire and stuff. So, but yeah, for doing all the, you know, the emergency work we do. So like I say, I, I have used these in the past years ago, many years ago, um, probably 20 years ago. So um, a friend's offered to show me, you know, show me all the basic techniques, all that sort of thing. Um, I might even actually go on a full course. I mean, if anyone does courses and, and wants to, you know, I'll video it and promote you. <laughs> You know, just to do a, a, a sort of a course on. I don't want to go for a full course chopping trees down, that sort of thing. It's just general chopping and how to do it safely um, without going too crazy. So, yeah. So the, it, that's what it comes. It's got a mixing bottle. Um, this kit has come with everything. So I've got two chains. So you've got a spare backup as well. Um, it comes with a big... It's got a 20 inch blade on this as well. Um, tool kit as well for it. And it comes with all its oil. So you've got your chainsaw oil and your two stroke oil for mixing with. So, because obviously you've still got to mix your fuels. So, yeah, I need to check on the fuels because now we've all the, I would, the fuels have all changed. It'll be in the book, I suppose, which one, because I don't know petrol. I've never used petrol in years. I've always had diesels. So yeah, not a bad little kit for 120 quid. So proof will be in the pudding when we get a struck up and play with. So my mum's got some wood to be chopped up for the so I can chuck it on the van. But uh, yeah, well and truly chuffed with that. So yeah, I mean like it's just thanking you in advance, guys, because obviously, like I say, the money anything I make from YouTube goes to buying these sort of bits. So hopefully, in three or four months' time. Hopefully, if people watch my videos, <laughs> um, I'll get a bit of ad revenue to help towards pay it. So, yeah, well, like I say, I put it, I paid for it now. I can't, I couldn't afford it to buy it, unfortunately. So I had to put it on on a bit of credit. So don't really like doing that, but hey, it's winter at the moment. It's our sort of time when things happen. So. It, the more of us in our group have got these because there's a lot of them, you know, have got more. They're all the time in the back of the truck, so they've always got them. So, right, that's it. Going to get packed away. Oh, well, also, all that lot comes with its own chainsaw bag as well. So all this whole kit will be all in two bags and nice and neat. Um, again, you know, see, so not that's just not floating around. So yeah, should be good. Can't wait to get it started. Might do it at work tomorrow. I'll have a play tonight. I'm still I'm just parked up at the moment down at the road at my lorry park because I can't get to work yet until after six until staff shift changes and then I can go when everyone's gone. So I'm going to grab some tea, grab some to eat and uh, have a play with this. Right. Well, that's a point. I'm going to have to buy a fuel can now. Just thought of that. I think there might be one at my work. Yeah, I ain't got a petrol can. I've got my diesel, but I need a petrol can now. So, yeah, we'll see what we get cut up. Uh, another weekend's here. Another three days off work. Stuck on industrial estate. I ain't been skinned. But, at least, I've got that built. <laughs> She looks a beast. So, go, um, everything's in, got the oils done. All I need to do now is go and get some oil, uh, fuel. So, that's the next job today. Everything's been set up. And, uh, yeah, hopefully, sometime this weekend, we'll uh, go to my mum's and uh, start cutting up some wood. Um, just need to go and get a fuel container. Hopefully, that I'm gonna have a walk down to the petrol station, take the dog for a walk, and um, I'm sure I've seen them for sale out there on you know fuel cans. Says I'm going all the way into town to get one, but um, yeah, that's the next job for today. That and just have a tidy up, so yeah, nothing on this week. 
I, I did say this month's going to be pretty crap for travelling and doing things. There's not really much going on. Um, I'm supposed to be having the kids this weekend. Um, but they've got things on as well, the things. So, swap that to next week. Because I only get bored sat at work. So, yeah. The joys of working and sort of van life. No pretty Instagram pictures, just a, an industrial estate. <laughs> nice, and it's foggy and... Oh. But at least I'll be able to hook up if I need to. Um, and I've got the washing machine to shove on. Just got the heat scrub up, going to take the dog for a walk. Yeah, just get some washing done. That's about it. Might pop to Argos. Got 50 quid to spend there on a voucher. So there's a sound bar I've seen for the telly, I quite like. Keep watching it, hoping it was dropped down in price, but it hasn't. But uh, we'll see. Right, get on with some jobs. Right, today we're doing cooking with mini off grid. <laughs> what are we making? Um, chocolate fudge chocolate brownie. Chocolate fudge brownie mix. So we're going to put them both together and make a big one. Apparently it's of 16. 16 plus 16, I don't even know. So 16, or is that just serves 16s of 16 to me? That's 32 in it then. Look, yeah, that's, that's a small for slice, me. isn't it? Th yeah, that's really small, isn't it? Because it does say on the packet 20 centimetres by 20 centimetres. Well, that's tiny. I think we should send it back because we need more than this. Yeah, so. 32 blocks, that's not enough for me. So, yeah, we've got all the bits, so we're going to start cooking. Okay. There you go. Two egg. The only thing we haven't got in the instructions is to uh, a mixer, so we need to put butter in. So we might have to warm the Glorious. butter up and pour it in and beat it all up. It should be fine. So we're doing double of everything, aren't we? Yeah. Because we wanted four, two eggs per one, so we're doing four. We put both packets four in there. Four eggs. Four eggs, right? We'll get one with the other ingredients. Two. So we chuck the eggs in. Okay. We've realised we've made a mistake. Because on the package, there's two different types of ways of doing it. One with butter, one with oil. We want the oil because we haven't got a mixer. And if you're doing it with oil, you only need to, you only need two eggs. <laughs> we put four in, so we've just scooped one of the eggs out. Anyway, we're doing it back the other way. So we just need some water now, so we'll grab some water. Right, now we've got the water to go in. Whee! And then Stop. it's mixing time. Um, get mixing, Mix. yeah, get Mix mixing. Cake, it's going to be a... It's going to be a long time. We need to get them eggs, make sure them eggs are bashed up in it. Uh, right. So what we got? We've got a chocolate. Oh. Right, we're going to get it into the pan now. Yep. We'll give it a good stir. I'll give it a good whirl and get some air in it. You don't want air in it, you want all the air out of it. It's supposed to be a little pan, but we're going to put it in a great big one. <laughs> big brownies, aren't we? Yeah. There we go. Whoa. Great big one. Oh, we spilled some. Loo. Right. Mm. <laughs> you're on the best bit. Well, that's what your dinner is. Yeah. And I'm having the I'm having the brownies when they're what? cooked. Yeah, you, brownies. you have the licking out. I, I have get the, everything. I have the horrible bit, the bit at the end. You have the good bit. Oh. Right, so Operation Maxi Fan. So, yeah, if you haven't seen some of the other videos, the circuit board, common fault on these, um, corroded. Well, I've cleaned it all up now and I've waterproofed it, I've lacquered it all, so I thought I'd give it a test. It's going to cost me another hundred bloody quid to get a new one. Um, I have found a company in America, I don't know what shipping's like, but they do a sort of copy for about $63, but shipping could be the same. So yeah, we're going to give it a test. I'm going to get it sprayed up. It's only just cheap stuff, it's only like lacquer. We'll give it a go. Got nothing to lose, but yeah, anyone looking at these, if you're going to get a maxi fan, before you fit it, take the circuit board off and weatherproof it. 
because it suffers. It sits up in here and it drips, comes through this hole and it gets condensation in here and it drips onto the circuit board. And they know about it. They've known about it for years and they still don't. And they charge you an absolute fortune for this. And it's a hundred quid for that. 110 quid is the cheapest. I found that in England. And that's if you can get one. Um, so yeah, not happy with Max Fan. It's not the, I've always said when I put it up, it was a bit naff, very plasticky. I mean, it's, it's like this. I mean, 55 quid for a bit of plastic. That's molded injection plastic. In China, that's probably cost a dollar. A bloody five dollars. It is, yeah, overpriced, very overpriced. So, yeah. I'm hoping somebody else might come in and make a better version of the maxi fan and then I'll replace it. So, yeah, that's the job tonight. Go on then, pull out the brownies then. Oh, whoops, we forgot to record. We've eaten half of it already. It's nice, isn't it? Yeah. It's a bit boorish. Yeah, I told you about that. I'm like, I have my own slice. It, it's, yeah, now it's uh, cooled down a bit. It's cut it right to the end. Got some blocks there. Oh, look at that! Oh, mm. <laughs> Isn't that nice. Mm. Can't wait to have some food like a mum. He's eating that much. He's not hungry now for tea, are you? <laughs> and what about Roxy? Oh. I like them as well, Dad. I do. They're one of my favourites and one of my five a day. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so here we go with the Maxi Fan Saga. So, put her all back together. We never went off last night, so hopefully we fixed it. Um, time will tell. So yeah, like I say, I don't, can't really see that. So I've just used some, car, you know, it's car lacquer, um, clear lacquer spray so put about four coats of lacquer all over the circuit boards because the problem is with these is condensation um, and it, it gets on top of the boards and it sort of um, eats into your electrics and you can see where it's it's actually bubbled up a bit of the circuit board and rubbed a bit of the the sort of the silver way leaving you can just see the the contacts a little bit so um, yeah, cleaned it all up, brushed it all up. Um, the actual circuit board's okay. It's just like a bit of a silver, the silver bit over the top is just washed, brushed off. So yeah, lacquered it all. Hopefully now it works fine. So yeah, I've, I've tested it. So it actually working really good. I had problems with it going up and down, and it it goes up and down fine now. So, oh. so yeah, she's all working. We will see and how long it's going to go. You'll know because I'll be ranting if it does go again. <laughs> Bloody thing. Not happy with it. Not happy. To be honest, you know, with the cost of how much Max fans are, and they know that problem because I've done. If you go into uh, YouTube and type in uh, the fault, you know, faults, that fault comes up for years. Um, for since it's been released, um, going back, I think it's a three or four year old now. Within that first year, there was problems, and people were showing you the hack, what to do, and how to spray with waterproof stuff. And it's still making it the same because mine's a late, one of the latest circuit boards. I noticed they've changed the circuit board a little bit, but I don't know if they put a protection cover on it because that one didn't last very long. Um, so yeah, that's one trick, guys. If you do invest into a Max fan, I mean, for what job they do for the sucking in, sucking out, and they've got the temperature thing on them for for the animals so i can set this in the truck at a certain temperature so in the summer if it gets too hot it switches on but 
never needed it last year. This truck seems to stay really cool because it's not metal, which is the bonus. Um, we don't turn into an oven in the summer and a fridge in the winter because it's basically made out of plastic. It's uh, it keeps its temperature. But yeah, um, I mean, yeah, I mean, it does have its advantage and it is a little bit better than some of these. But are they worth three hundred plus quid? I mean, 110 quid on eBay for a new part, that, that little tiny circuit board, which everyone knows, how much does a circuit board cost in China? Pennies. Pennies. You know, I, I, I won't even, with the shipping and everything, I bet it's $5. You know what I mean? I know people in our town, we've got like electric places, and they do things like that. They, that's all they do, big contracts of just uh, on piecework. Uh, my auntie used to run there, they used to run it, and uh, yeah, I mean, they're just knocking them out, knocking them out, knocking them out, thousands of them, all exactly the same, um, so, and that's in England, and they were really cheap, and some of the boards, they was knocking out, but yeah, to charge that much, it's, it does remind me, I'm going on a rant now about them, but with the pricing of these, it reminds me of um, the Aspacha and um, who's the other big make, the diesel heater war, what went on, where they manipulated the market to the point that they got a £160 million fine because they've been basically manipulating the market and, f and making prices up. You know, they, they worked together to keep the prices at high levels. So they make maximum profit. And that's why now, since they lost all that court case and everything else, we've been inundated with diesel eaters. And to be honest, some of these diesel eaters what are coming in. And I mean, look at the boards alone. Here's an example. Right, so you, you've, most of you have all seen a diesel heater and all their flashy digital displays. I have a, nearly an 800 pound heating system. What control I get? A shitty two knob thing. And they don't even do a digital, nothing fancy. They have a, for something like, I think it's 80 quid, 89 quid. I can get like a programmer and it's just the most boring blocks. And it's like a 24 hour or a foot or a, a week planner. So you can set it to come on and off at times. That's it. You know, these big major firms do have a monopoly. And they have been overcharging us for years on, on products, um, you know, and they hold like the patents. So they're the only ones, the license to do the, you know, heating systems. So, yeah, we don't, you know, there's not a real level playing field, unfortunately, with products. I mean, you go to China and places and the stuff what gets released over there is just amazing. But we never see the daylight of it. So, right, that's a bit of a rant. <laughs> that's all because of that bloody fan. But, uh, yeah. So, yeah, I've covered mine in lacquer. We'll see how it goes. Um, if it does go again, I might try. And, there is some special stuff you can buy. I might try that, but we'll give that a test. That should do it. I mean, it's lacquer. It's covered it. It's protected it. It's only so if the damp gets on it, it shouldn't get in and mess up the electrics and because all it'll do in the middle of the night is <laughs> making all sorts of noises trying to open trying to close so we'll see how long it lasts might have a bloody great big chimney going through there eventually and put a log burner in it <laughs> right that'll do i'm gonna get mini me's breakfast on there right just to end the vlog off uh got an update and it's been how many days now four days something like that 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 thing was put back together and it's still going okay um it hasn't come on um so that's a bonus so we will see i'll keep an eye on it um i'm hoping i've managed to prolong the life of it a bit longer um, hopefully the parts come down cheap. I might, if it, if I can find one cheap with a little bit of circuit board, um, I'll get it and put it away, you know, for the future. But 
Yeah, so at the moment, and I've had cooking underneath, and you know, so there's loads of condensation and boil right now. I'm boiling water and stuff, pasta and stuff. So it's been nearly a week, so it hasn't done it before. So before I sprayed it and cleaned it, it would literally only last sort of I don't know half an hour, an hour, and it would be playing up and going up and down. Um, so whatever I've done. And bodged it with <laughs> it's it's working so yeah just sort of let you know so no more rants at the moment so that's it so we'll catch you later